it's a nice win for our program. Um, and I thought, I thought all along this was a unique group that we had, um, a resilient group, a very serious, tough-minded group. Um, and we knew coming in that this was going to be this type of game. They were too good up front on defense. Um, but we thought we had a great, great, great plan defensively. Um, we just had to try to keep and hunt and peck offensively to find some plays. We thought we could get Kaysen and potentially Austin isolated on some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and we finally got one, and, and Kaysen you know, finally breaks the tackle there. But uh, all in all, um, I'm proud of our kids. Um, they deserve it. These guys, uh, these guys work their tails off, man. They battle. They compete. They uh, they played smart football tonight. You know, I went. I was just talking about the halftime talk against Portland State about playing the game. It's the way it's meant to be played, and uh, we did that tonight. You know, we didn't have holdings. We didn't have false starts. We didn't line up wrong. Um, we protected the football for the most part, except for a great play by their kid, 93. Um, we covered our kicks, we punted the ball, we tackled really well, and at the end of the day, we had a chance to win in the fourth quarter and converted on a couple really critical fourth down plays. Um, that ultimately, I think, changed the momentum of the game. Uh, I thought our crowd was awesome, especially in the second half, and uh, it's a good win against a very good football team. Uh, Stanford's a good football team. They're extremely well coached. And uh, it's a good win for us. Sir, can you talk about Jackie's run on fourth down, the touchdown run? Was there ever any doubt that you were going to go for it on fourth down? Um, no, there really wasn't. We had, uh, we had, uh, um, is Jeff here? He walked out and gave me the wrong stats. That's important to state. I don't even look at those. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was trying to get a little information from you guys, but. <coughs> No, there wasn't any doubt. At that point, the, the way the game had gone into a two-score game um, and how hard it was for us to get yards offensively at that time, when we had a chance to get one yard, we, we took it. And it was more of the matter of the call and then if we were going to wait till the fourth quarter to do it or do it at the end of the third. We liked the call. It had been a play that had been pretty effective for us uh, earlier in the quarter. We stuck with it. and. Uh, well blocked. Bishop made the safety miss uh, and uh, got in the end zone. What does it say about this run defense and this defense, especially the holding Stephen Taylor to 65 yards? Well, we're a disciplined group. I think sometime, you know, early on, one of our one of our biggest mishaps defensively was our inability to play disciplined football. You know, and disciplined defense. And tonight we did it. I, I, I want you know, Justin Wilcox deserves a great deal of credit. Our defensive staff for getting these kids prepared for a scheme that was effective tonight. And, you know, we gave up some plays. We blow a coverage on third long. Uh, but at the end of the day, to hold that caliber of a back uh, is, a, is a huge effort by our guys. They, they tackled so well. Um, a unique challenge when you're playing Stanford just because of all the big bodies. And then, now we got another unique one coming up here in, in a week and a half or so. But um, just impressed by the guys' discipline and the way they played tonight. What can you say about Coach Wilcox and that staff, what they've been able to do in nine months since they've been able to turn that defense around? Tremendous, tremendous. The kids are believing. They're buying into what, what we're trying to get done. Um, you know, I think that that's one of the biggest keys is, you know, it's one thing everybody knows X's and O's, you know, and, and obviously our guys are pretty bright, but um, they get the kids to believe. They're excellent teachers. They communicate well. And at the end of the day, guys are doing what they're supposed to do, and then they tackle when they're getting there. How important was the buy not only to prepare for a team like Stanford, but also just to get healthy? Well, it got some guys back on special teams for sure. It's great to have Fellner back out there. Um, you know, we're not 100%, as you probably could tell. Um, it would be good to get some more guys back. But, um, you know, it's great from a preparation standpoint. You know, I think the good thing is, I don't feel like we got extra time, and they didn't. They had the same amount of time to prepare for us as well. Did, did you envision, Steve, when you hired the new staff in January, that you could do something like hold Stanford for 13, 200 yards? This, uh... I, I don't know. I, you know, the, I was talking to the team last night. The ultimate goal for tonight, when I said when I was going, whenever I'd get home tonight, we'll see. Whenever you guys let me go, was the. Um, I wanted to lay down a bed and be 1-0 in Pac-12 play. 
I just wanted to be 1-0. I wanted to start off on the right foot. And how we did it, uh, or what the score was going to be, was really irrelevant to me. The, the score wasn't the matter. Um, it was more of playing the, the way we were capable of playing, playing disciplined football. And I, I didn't know what we'd hold them to. I didn't know how many yards we'd have. I don't, you know, I, that stuff, it's hard to tell in the flow of the game. What I do know is this was like a heavyweight bout, man, and uh, you gotta, you got to punt the football and you got to cover the punts. You get your stops on third down, and then you, the, the field position starts to swing, and then you try to take advantage of some plays when you get them, you know, and we were able to do that. You know, I'm, there's a couple drops I'm sure we'd like to have back offensively. Um, there's, like I said, a couple of covers things defensively we'd love to have back. But at the end of the day, you know, to get back to Justin and the defensive staff and our defense, uh, their ability to, to be disciplined in what they had to do. And when you were in a gap, they stayed in their gaps, they leveraged the football, and then they tackled. I mean, and that's, that's playing good defense against a power running team. And uh, because guys like this, they can lean on you and wear you out. And I, I thought that we stood our ground there all the way through to the very end. So you talked a lot, though, about it. And those USC wins because of just maybe where you were with your health and where you were a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm, I'm proud of this one. I'm proud of this one because this isn't our most complete football team right now. I'm proud of this one because of who we played. That, that's a talented team, a very good football team. Um, uh, um, I'm proud of this one because, uh, you know, Probably outside of me and the guys in that locker room, I don't know who else thought we'd win, you know, and um, maybe my wife, she might have given me a shot. Um, <laughs> and I just, you know, the way we executed in the most critical moments was probably what I'm most proud of those guys for. Fourth and one, Desmond Petty doesn't have a carry all night. We put him in a fourth and one and give him the ball, and he gets us a first down. You know, that, that kind of stuff in a game like this is what's so cool. It's third and four with a minute and 40 left in the, on the clock in the game, and we hard count and we hold our ground. We don't jump off sides. They do. That That stuff to me is what's cool about this team and because those aren't all frontline players in there right now. And so their ability to hang in there and, and do things right at the most critical moments in a, in a tight ball game was, was impressive to me. Def defensively, it seemed like you, you, you talked about wanting to hold them on first down and kind of force them in a second, third long. Some of you guys did that pretty I thought we really did defensively. I thought we won the first down battle. Uh, I can't probably say the same for us offensively. It was a similar game plan on both sides of the ball. Went on first and ten so that we can put ourselves in winnable third down situations. And we're able to do it uh, we're able to do it defensively, offensively, it got hard. Um, we, we took us four downs a couple times, so I'll take those fourth down conversions and make them third down conversions, and then our numbers probably look a little bit better. But um, you know, that, that was a big deal in the game plan was win on first and ten, and for the most part we did that. So you had a tempo there where you had the guys call the cadence and then everybody looked at the sideline. It looked like you did more of that. Was that something unique to something uh, your preparation for Stanford, or is that kind of a, something? It was something that we – we have, we've been practicing for quite some time, and it's been extensive. It's been extensive since spring ball. It was really extensive here in, in training camp, and then it was really more so the last week and a half. We knew that the bye, we could come back to it and emphasize it. Um, we just felt like if we could get them kind of huffing and puffing a little bit, that we could equalize some things up front, and then maybe that would take its toll in the fourth quarter, uh, where we could make some plays, and, and I thought it was relatively effective. How's the key start? He's going to be holding it a little bit. In the He'll half. be okay. He, you know, he he's a tough kid. I, I've seen him. I've seen him with some with some war wounds before, and um, you know, he, he took a lot of shots tonight. That, that's a, that's an excellent defensive front, and uh, they're physical and they're they're very well coached. Mm -hmm. um, he took some shots, but he'll be okay. If you assess the offensive line since you're talking about their defensive front, how you thought they played against that front seven? <laughs> oh, we struggled. <laughs> I, I, I was pretty, pretty clear to, clear to see. You know, I think we struggled. You know. And, but at our most adverse times when we had struggled the most, we went over and challenged them. We said, guys, at the end of the day, just compete. You know, just compete. Just, just fight, scratch, claw, whatever it's going to take. Just compete. And if you're right, you're right. If you're wrong, at least you're, you're competing your tail off. And I, and I thought our guys bounced back there in the middle of the third quarter because I, I, we were wavering a little bit. And um, they, they fought back. I thought we established ourselves on the ground a little bit there, late third, and then obviously into the fourth quarter. So I was I was impressed by that. Obviously, from a pass protection standpoint, um, 
disappointing because you know I, I wanted to throw it down the field. I thought there were some things there for us. We just we just couldn't do it. Steve, after the uh, their pick six, how was the mood on the sidelines, and how do you feel like they bounced back? Well, uh, the mood, you know, like anything is, you're down two scores. It's uh, third quarter, and we had an opportunity there to, to maybe really get going. We just had a big play, and uh, it was actually very impressive to see some of our defensive coaches, uh, Coach Lupoy stands out to me, some of our defensive players come up to the offense and, and almost refire them back up, that we'll be okay, that we're going to do our job on defense, just, you'll be all right on offense, just get going. And uh, sure enough, that drive, we hit the fourth down play for the touchdown. So I thought that was a pretty cool scene from a team standpoint, that, that um, from where we were maybe a year ago, where it was kind of the roles reversed, for a defense to come over and show that leadership, I thought was very impressive. Sir, can you talk a little bit more about the play that Case in? Was there any concern about the review on the fumble in the goal line at all? Um, I, I wasn't concerned because we recovered the ball in the end zone. I was kind of surprised why it was being reviewed, right. quite honestly. But uh, the play was a, a run pass option for Keith. Um, and we were hopeful we could get some of those isolation, isolated type plays with Case in, uh, on the perimeter because he, he's such a physical guy. Um, and sure enough, we got it, and Keith stuck to the display. It would have been easy to just hand the ball off right there, you know, and do the safe thing, but he stuck with what we were trying to do from a game plan standpoint, threw it out there, and um, Case is a heavy guy, you know, and over time, tackling him can take its toll on him. He's like a big tailback, and sure enough, you know, breaks the tackle, tries to fumble the ball, catches it himself again, and tries to fumble it a second time, but uh, I, to me, he crossed the line already. And if not, we had recovered the ball. What does a win like this do to the program now and moving forward? Well, the, what it does for us is we're one and all in conference play. Um, and that was the ultimate goal. There's plenty of stuff in this game, believe me, that uh, we're going to have to fix and we're going to have to learn from. Um, you know, I've said the same before, and it's one of my babies now, is you don't condone in victory what you wouldn't in defeat, you know. And so there's plenty of stuff that we're going to have to take from this. Um, but I think like anything for our kids is um, what you want in your locker room and what you want on your sidelines every time you take the field is belief. And uh, this gives our guys probably more belief than maybe they would have had if we hadn't won, and that's probably the biggest thing. Steve, on, as far as the offensive big plays, did you get a sense that those were coming? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I felt like that we could just – if we could get the ball to the second level, if we could just get away from that the, the armored front they have, if we could just get the ball to the second level, we'd have a chance to make some plays. Um, the challenge was just to get the ball there. Um, and when we did, we were able to make plays. And whether it was the ball on the perimeter on some things, whether it was Bishop running the ball, whether it was Kaysen on the last play, we just felt like if we just get there, we'd have a chance. And uh, it, it paid off for us. Steve, how big do you think this victory is in terms of your whole effort to rebuild this program? I mean, what's its significance? Um, I don't, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not big into nostalgic stuff like that. You know, I'm more about this was our Pac-12 opener. You know, and um, we have an opportunity to play at home in front of our fans in a great environment. Um, I think that. Um, you know, our guys are going to enjoy it, um, which they deservedly so they should. Um, but I don't, I'm not into, you got, now I, now we can, now we don't have to go win the next two or three because we won this one and everyone's going to think that that's great. These guys are hungry. That's a hungry group. And, um, you know, we'll get back on the horse Saturday and, and start preparing for Oregon and fixing the things we need to fix about us and, and go to work. You know, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think this is, some monumental victory. It's a great win for our program and for our kids. They deserve it for you know our university, but it's it equals the same. It's it's one win in our conference play. Steve, one player, uh, uh, with Sankey, did you did you was that kind of a higher percentage chance if you just get past the line of scrimmage and just go? Uh, I just felt like I liked our matchups. If we could get into the second level of breaking tackles, making them maybe miss a few tackles, and to create some big plays. It was just that the challenge was getting there to get to that second level. It had been a play we had been working on pretty extensively since training camp. Um, we ran it numerous times tonight, and um, 
very effective. I know that one stands out, but it was a very effective play for us. Steve, how Strap it up so we get the players in here. The uh, they were awesome. Second half, they were awesome. Third downs, tremendous. Um, I was a little nervous there in the first quarter. I think there's probably some, some rush hour traffic going on, but uh, I thought it was an awesome atmosphere. You know, and that's why our fans are great. They, they're, uh, they bring it, man. And uh, they were patient with me on offense, I think, um, and knowing what kind of game we were in. And part of me thinks and that you know that our fans probably appreciate these types of games more so than 48-45. You know, that there's something gritty about our mentality here, and uh, this was a black and blue type of game, and I, I think our fans appreciated that.